Less than 25% of grade school students are proficient in civics and American history, the subjects which prepare them to be responsible citizens. Citizenship Counts is a program designed to change that. Citizenship Counts is a national nonprofit organization whose mission is to educate middle and high school students on the basic tenets of citizenship and give them an opportunity to appreciate and celebrate their own citizenship. This is the purest of programs. It is nonpartisan. It is, has nothing to do with legal or illegal. It has to do with count your blessings. It has to do with how can we make it better? So our core curriculum is comprised of six lessons uh, that are correlated with the national social studies standards uh, that build upon each other and support each other. Citizenship Counts inspires students to take pride in America and appreciate their rights and responsibilities as Americans. The comprehensive program allows students to engage in activities that help them understand what it means to be a citizen, and it promotes critical thinking about the immigration process and the path to citizenship. It's education at work. It's really bringing education to life and allowing kids to see things that become three-dimensional as opposed to just reading about something in a book or seeing pictures. My favorite part was seeing how, how people were attracted to this country and why they're coming here and why they left their country before to come here. What we hope is that uh, Citizenship Counts through its efforts of teaching a curriculum in the schools to our children and then having our children then understand not only their rights but their responsibilities as citizens will go out and become better citizens. They will vote, they will volunteer in their communities. Citizenship Counts was founded by author, humanitarian, and Holocaust survivor Gerda Weissman Klein as her way of giving back to the country that saved her life. She has dedicated her life to sharing her inspirational story of survival. After spending three years in a succession of slave labor and concentration camps, Gerda and 4,000 other women were forced on a 350-mile death march. Sadly, fewer than 120 survived. I love this country with a love that only one who has been homeless and hungry can understand. She unfortunately lost every family member and every friend during the Holocaust, but had somewhat of a bittersweet story in that she ended up marrying the American Army intelligence officer that liberated her and brought her to this country. So she has a unique perspective um, on citizenship in that uh, she came here and you know, received her citizenship two years after she came to the United States. Gerda has always cherished the blessings and opportunities given to her as an American. She became a celebrated author and Presidential Medal of Freedom recipient, but her greatest pride stems from becoming a naturalized citizen in 1948. She believes American citizenship is a gift that should not be taken for granted. You say anything, you can do anything. I mean, um, it's like, you know, you're let out of a, of a dark box and, and you see sunshine. Gerda's love for America inspired her to create Citizenship Counts. One aspect of the program enables students to participate in a naturalization ceremony, people actually becoming American citizens. That I will support and defend. We had students singing, we had students saying poems, we had students doing readings. All of them together and then singing at the end was a day I will never forget. It was probably one of the greatest days of my career as an educator. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, students of Maryland School, please welcome the newest citizens of the United States of America. It's an honor, it's a blessing, it's a great opportunity to be here today and to have finally become a citizen of the United States. This is a very joyful moment, you know, because we are waiting for this day uh, to be a citizen. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really happy today. <laughs> very, very happy. I saw how people how people's lives could change with just just the ceremony and how coming to one country that we don't see as such a such a great thing but now I, I see that it is the citizenship counts program is free of charge to all educators 
any teacher can have it in a rural school, in the biggest school in the inner city, uh, wherever it's needed and wanted, it's available. Citizenship Counts is a program that inspires students across the country. It gives them a unique opportunity to participate in the democratic process while building a better understanding of the value and responsibilities of American citizenship. And the hope is that if we teach them these lessons uh, when they're young, that they'll continue uh, to be active, engaged citizens throughout the rest of their lives. It'll bring out the best in the kids. It will make them look anew upon themselves and their families and their country. It makes me proud to be an American because I see how people in other places don't have basic rights like freedom of speech and all of that. And that I do, it just it makes me proud. And I think that um, the children need to have this incredible pride of what the country has done and is still doing in the world. You know, we are. Um, we are the most generous country in the world. I am pretty proud of being in America.